Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ah, it's been, I feel like it's been a minute since I've been able to actually sit down and chill to do a productivity session. Um, I don't know if you all know, but I've been in more hurricanes in two weeks than I care to. But things are good. Things are looking up. I'm here. You're here. Yay. So if you are new to this productivity session, I'm Laya. If you're not sure how to say that, it's like Maya with an L. And I like to do these sessions to be more productive in my life and also to be able to live slower. I do find that when I create these pockets of productivity in my day, I find a lot more space for chilling, hanging out, playing, and just enjoying life, which is what I think I was put in this planet to do. And I hope that you agree. <laughs> It's a cloudy, cool day here, which it's the first one, I would say. Um, so obviously I'm all layered up already because that's just who I am. I haven't had time to make myself tea or anything because I had an early morning meeting. But um, I hope that's what I will do in the first sprint today. You're rather sorry to hear that. But also good that you're able to acknowledge that and not censor yourself by just saying some bullshit like, oh my gosh, I'm great, right? Like just like being honest with ourselves and honoring how we feel. I think that's a beautiful place to be. So even if it feels like absolute garbage, we can take a breath and be with it, right? So let's do that. Let's take a deep breath. So sit up, relax your shoulders, lengthen your spine. And you can keep your hands resting on your lap, or if it resonates with you, perhaps you bring both hands over your heart, over your chest. Take a deep breath in. And side out. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you all hear it, but my cat is here, and she's really cool. She's my new cat. She decided to adopt us and she's been like not really wanting to come in or whatever. And the last few days, um, right after <laughs> it was probably the hurricane that she was like, what is this shit? And now she kind of wants to be inside more than she wants to be outside. Um, and she's very chill until she isn't like all of a sudden she'll just lose it, lose it. So right now I don't know what the fuck she's doing, but it might be interesting. How are you doing, Nix? You want to say hello? Do y'all want to say hello to Nix? Hey, Nix, come here. Come say hi. This is Nix. She is lovely. And she keeps her uh, claws out all the time, which we're working on that. It also does come handy for other things because this is a farm. So she does have a goal being here. And she's very good at it. So, you know. But yeah, this is Nyx. And she does have a little, like, she likes to sit on my bolster over there. So I'm hoping that she'll just want to chill with us. But we'll see. She's just getting used to being, to being a house cat. So she's doing the best she can. And her brother Perseus is around, but he doesn't like being inside as much, which is fine. I don't need two, two cats inside. But hello, Siva. Welcome. How are you? <sighs> so if you're new here, welcome. This is a cozy productivity session. And what we'll be doing is, hello kitty, you want up? <laughs> and what we'll be doing is uh, try to get some stuff done. You can do whatever you want with this time from writing, which is what I'll be doing, homework, studying, cooking, uh, whatever it is that you need to do, clean your home. I just find this is a great way to get things done that maybe you've been procrastinating or that perhaps you haven't found the time for. Just, you know, just see what happens by dividing your time in Pomodoros. If you've never worked with Pomodoros, let me tell you a little bit about them. Pomodoros are a great way to, again, get things done. And traditionally, it's split 25 minutes on which is called the sprint, and then five minutes off, which is your break. And you could do that four times. I find four times to be a long time. So I usually do three, but it depends. Sometimes I do two, sometimes I do one. Um, for example, last week, it was actually last Wednesday, I believe. 
was it last Wednesday that I had to evacuate for the second hurricane? Yes, it was. We actually, I had to cut this session super short. So we only did two 15 minute ones, I think, or maybe one 15 minute one. And that was enough for me to get packed. So you can really utilize these productivity sprints in any way that serves you and any way that feels good to you. All right, so. Nah, you're not doing Inktober. <laughs> Maybe journaling, awesome. Or singing, wonderful. Yes, yeah, singing is amazing. I sing almost daily. I have a ukulele and I love to sing. Um, yeah, it, it feels very soothing to my soul. No, kitty, we're not going to get on the desk, my sweet friend. So with that being said, you all know that my timer is still up in the mountains. Unfortunately, it has not been recovered. There's still no power, no water up there. Um, so I can't get it yet. So I'm going to be using this app as our timer today. Feel free to use your own timer. Um, I'm going to work on my novel. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mute this first because I have to go get my water. Um, but after that, that's what I'm going to do. I am starting from scratch, basically, um, to do a rewrite. So uh, lots of work to be done. And I'm super excited for it. Let me know in the chat what you're going to be working on if you feel like doing that. But either way, just go ahead and grab your project, take a deep breath. 25 minutes are on the clock. Let's get started. Good luck, friends.
All right, friends, those 25 minutes, how did you do? Whatever you're doing, come to a pausing or a stopping point and return to this space and take a break with me or if you want to, take a break in any other way. You could stand up if that's something that you're able to do and want to do. Um, maybe you choose to go get some water or food you could step outside or open the window. It's whatever it is that you want to do. Hello, Ash. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, you're right on time. Whatever time you join, you're right on time, never late. So I'm doing really well today. I just started the maybe, I don't know, 20th iteration of <laughs> this novel. Uh, but it feels pretty good because I got, um, I got some good stuff to help me go forward. And so I decided to jump right in. So, yay! Yeah. Oh, so this is, your sec is gonna be your second year of nano? It's gonna be my... Either fourth or fifth. I don't know. But I'm stoked. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start to put those sessions into Insight Timer now. And But we kinda need to collectively come up with the time that those will be best. I don't know if this is the time that works, but um, if it is, I could keep them at this time. But I'm also happy to like alternate because they're going to be every day, my friends. They're going to be every day. Um, poof. I say that and my heart's like, are you sure, Leia? Um, but yeah, so maybe I'll alternate and like Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be at a time. And then Thursday, <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday at a different time and maybe weekend a different time. Um, hello, Kaori. Yeah, I am safe and feeling great. Ooh, you studied French? What other languages do you uh, speak or practice or know a little bit of? Languages are really cool. Also, if you just joined, you might have not known, but uh, I'm not alone in this room today. Nyx, the cat, is here. Um, she's just chilling right now. She's licking herself as cats do. Hello, Bleedy. Evening and weekends? E evening where? Because um, we have folks from all over the world here, so if you let me know where you are, um, I can do some calculations in my head and see if that's a time when I'm awake and available. <laughs> yeah. Also know that um, these do take up a lot of time and energy for me, obviously. Um, and consider that if you, the, you do find benefit doing these and you want me to continue to put these in the calendar, um, donating is something that will really help me be able to continue to do these. Um, I'm at a point where I will have to go out and go find different work if I'm not able to make enough with the work that I love to do. So again, if you've ever considered donating, that's a good reason to. So just keep that in mind. You speak English, Japanese and French. Nice. But can't, yeah, you've learned but can't speak anymore. I can relate to that so much. Latin, Spanish and Swedish, yeah. It's nice. Eastern time in New York. Okay, so that's the time I'm in right now. Um, for the next couple of weeks, I'll be in this time zone. After that, I'll be back in Europe. So, um, yeah, I can make that happen. I can absolutely make that happen, especially once I'm in Europe. That'll be, that'll be easy because it won't be evening for me there. What would be hard is... Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Let me set a timer for five minutes. Yeah so that we can take our break. Uh, la, 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 la. How did you do? Did you get much accomplished? Uh, I can't set five minutes on this thing for some reason, so I'll just count them. Someone um, also keep me on track. It is 41 past the hour right now. So I'd say at 45 past the hour we can start because we've already been chatting. So somebody keep me on track if I just get too chatty and I forget. Um, I'm going to go really quick to grab some water because I thought I had it here and I do not. And water is important. So this is your reminder. If you haven't drank water today yet, I would highly encourage you to do so if you're able. 
So I'm going to grab some water. I'll be right back. Um, I did see a comment earlier of someone saying if I could please mute my mic during the sprint. Um, if that is something that y'all would like me to do, please let me know. I'm happy to do that if that serves you. Um, traditionally, I've left it unmuted because y'all like to listen to the birds and the chickens outside. Uh, but if that changes at any time and sometimes I want silent sessions, I'm super happy to do that as well. I'm saying that because I'm going to mute myself as I step away for a moment, but I will be right back. Blaney says, do not, please do not mute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but if you do want to mute, remember you can just lower the volume of the app. You'll just have to try to keep track of the time a little bit more by yourself, you know? I totally get it, though. Some people don't want to hear me typing and, like, you know? <laughs> I get it. All right, I'll be right back. <coughs> Hello again. Yeah, Blini, I agree. The background noise makes me relax more too. Yeah, I like to join productivity sessions where there's some sort of background noise. But that's why I find it it's super personal and different people like different things. So I grab water and I also grab myself a snack. Um, yeah, it's been kind of hard getting back into a good rhythm of eating well because, um, as you may know, there was, <coughs> excuse me, there was a hurricane. Um, two actually and so there's been like lower supplies and stuff so I'm not venturing out to the grocery store or anything like that if I don't need to so I still kind of have just a lot of hurricane foods which are non-perishables so don't judge it but this is what's happening right now I'm gonna eat this strawberry whatever the fuck this is anyways um, it is 45 past the hour I'm gonna ask you would you like to do 25 or would you like to do more. We could also try to do a little bit longer if you wanted to. I'm happy with whatever. Eat the snacks. Eat the snacks. Um, no, it's called a cereal bar. Whatever that means. It's just ground up oats and strawberry jam type stuff. I'm sure there's some added bullshit in there, but that's what they're telling me it is. <laughs> so... Okay, are you all ready for 25? Does 25 sound good? If you're just joining us, we're about to start our second sprint of the day. Perfect, 25 sounds good. We did one already. We did not do a warm-up today because we were feeling just ready to go. And yeah, so Ash is going to be working on a business email. Fun. Uh, I don't know, maybe it is fun. Maybe you like those things. Um, I'm going to continue moving forward on the new draft of my novel, the... 25th iteration, I don't know. I'm going to call it the 42nd iteration of my novel. So I'm kind of fleshing out some of the characters a little bit more. Um, and I, I just need to add chapters because I, I, I got in my head thinking that it was too too sh too long. And it's not. It's definitely not too long. Ooh, Siva, writing poetry. Yeah. Yes. So having poetry as a job is pretty rewarding. I actually spent a week with poets and writers and storytellers. Um, and yes, they do make a living writing poetry. And I think they, they absolutely should because pouring your soul like that should be rewarded however the world sees deemed that rewarding should be. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, 
Are y'all ready for 25 minutes? Again, my little timer was left in the mountains of, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, so I will recover it someday, I hope. So I'm just using this app for now that just grows a tree while we get some work done. So it's set to 25 minutes. Ooh, start shaping your last sleeve. Last sleeve. Ooh, I love the fact that one would be a little longer. Like I like my sweaters like lopsided anyway. Like I like my clothing lopsided, so that would actually help the look. I would encourage that, but that just, you, you know me. Anyways, 25 minutes are on the clock. Grab your project. Take a deep breath and good luck. See you in a little bit.
friends that was another 25 minutes <sighs> so just take a moment to come to a pausing or stopping point in whatever it is that you're doing and let's just take a break let's check in see how we're feeling I'm gonna catch up on the chat really quick and I'll also set a um, no I won't set a five minute timer we will just have to come up with the five minutes because um, this thing minimum is 10 which is totally fine i get it but yeah how did you do how was it for you i see y'all chatting about um knitting i love knitting i started crocheting recently i have to get some more actual lessons on it though elizabeth studying for a big exam yeah i'm so glad that it's helping yay i know that if you're putting your intention in it and your attention into it, it'll go, it'll go well. So, yay. Oh, books about knitting, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> ah, I think it's so great that, I, I don't know, maybe it's just in the environments that I move in, but that more and more people are taking on more crafts again, you know? I think that it's so important that we occupy ourselves with other things other than, you know, screens and whatever crap they try to throw at us all day. So yeah, that's awesome. <sighs> I am writing, um, I'm kind of like polishing a little bit of my characters in my novel. Um, and so I'm just fleshing out some of their personalities just to get a little bit, I don't know, make the characters a little bit richer. And I got a ton done. I don't know how many, 237 words at least, but I got a little bit more. So I feel pretty good. We love crafts so much. Me too. Me too. I love how y'all just cheer on each other. It's so lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... And even, you know, and even if sometimes... I think there are folks that do knitting while they're watching TV or whatever. I still think it's really good because you're using... A different part of your brain um, that is neglected a lot these days right so I think that it's important same as it's not the same reading a book um, you know and, and this goes for fiction of course because it's not the same to watch the movie of the book or whatever than to read it because when you read it even if you listen to it um, it requires for you to utilize your imagination, right? And to engage in the creating of this world with the writer, um, which is very different from sitting there and just consuming the already created world, you know, in a movie, which I love. Absolutely love watching movies and shows, but I kind of enjoy reading because, again, I think it's good for me and it's more fun. It uses my creativity more. So... Yeah, reading books before sleep instead of scrolling. You know what? I'm going to join you on that. Um, I've been wanting to uh, do... What did I say that I'm going to do? Obviously, I haven't started because I, can rem I can't remember. I went to the bookstore with my friend yesterday. We go and walk around it. I don't know. Lately, it's been a couple times a week. But um, we don't buy anything. We just walk around, read synopsis. And I was like, ah, I've, I've been reading, but I do really want to read every day. And I think I said... I might have set 30 minutes, but I don't think so because that to me sounds like a lot. So I probably set 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm going to say 15 minutes every evening instead of scrolling. Does anybody else feel like joining that? It could be a little challenge that we do together if you like, if you feel like joining it. Okay. Yeah, so let's do that. So does anybody have any good fiction recommendations? I have a few, but I'd love to see what you have right now what you're reading, what have you read in the past that you really loved. Um, and obviously if it's before bed, maybe make it like cozy and lighthearted, yeah? Any stories that you can think that are not too too heavy uh, because your brain will capture that. And again, if you're creating this world right before you go to sleep, 
make it a nice one yeah um, things that I've read lately that I really enjoyed one of them was Eleanor 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 Oliphant is completely fine I really loved that book um, what else have I read recently that I really loved Binti but that's more sci-fi uh, ooh, come tierra. Ooh, come tierra. I mean, that means like eating earth. So I like that in Spanish anyway. I haven't heard of that one. I'd like to read that. Gabriel Garcia Marquez or Nagib Mazuk. Oh, I actually do not know Nagib Mahus. So I am going to put that in my good reads. Any in particular that you would say to start? Like one that you're like, that's a good one to start with. Miramar, okay. I just started um, listening to a book named... Uh, I'll have to look at it because I don't want to say it wrong. Uh, there we go. Found it. Put it on my to-read list. Why not? Yeah, I like metaphors. Pretty short. Cool. Um, I'm reading... I just want to say the title, right? It is called... Uh, not reading. Listening to. Apologies. Uh, da, 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 thinking about it. Think, training School for New Girl Girls. And that's by Camille Acker. So, so far, I'm enjoying it very much. And my next one on my list is Fresh Water by Akaweke Mizi. So, those are the ones that I have on my list right now. And that I'm hoping to be able to read. It's on the on my list on the at the library. Whenever I get it, I'll get it. And I was reading in Catalan um, Too Many Deaths with Flowers. I'm just, I translated it in my head. But that one was left behind in the mountains. So, I'm hoping to get it back because it was a really good book. <laughs> Kirsty Logan short stories and Becky Chambers. Ooh, okay, Becky Chambers, that's sci-fi? Good, because I, I want more sci-fi. I love sci-fi. I read and write a lot of sci-fi, so. All right, friends, it is five minutes um, of our break. Do y'all feel like doing one more sprint? Do you feel sprinted out? How can I support you? Let me know, and we'll do that. If you haven't yet, take a sip of water. But yeah, great, great book suggestions. Thank you everybody for for sharing. That's I, I love reading, and again, I, I feel like I've been investing. I'll say investing because it is an investment. My energy on things I don't want to be investing it in, um, and I want to get back into more reading because again, like I, I, the more I read, the more it enriches also my writing, and so um, I want to get back to it. It's been a couple of months of less reading than usual. So, hey, you know what? Cacao and tea, why not? I want to have some tea. I want to have some cacao. It sounds nice. All right, so do y'all want to do one more sprint? Anna says they're heading out. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you all. Cool. So, yeah, do y'all want to do one more? Yes. Okay. Kaori says one more. All right. Yeah, I'm down for one more. I want to get a little bit more um, out for this character so that then when I write chapters this afternoon, um, it feels a little bit easier. So, all right. Let's do another another sprint. Let me grab my makeshift timer for the for the time being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Um, and also thank you, Nix, for being here taking a nap. That's my cat. She's just she's just chilling. Um, okay. I'm almost, almost there. Almost there. <laughs> All right. You may get this arm finished. I mean, that's a, a part of me is like, oh, could you show us a picture? Ah, it's unfortunate. But I hope that, what color, what colors is this, is this jumper? I want to know. I'm super curious. Anyways, 25 minutes are on the clock. The mic will be unmuted while I'm sitting here 
working if i'm standing up or obviously chatting with my partner or whatever i will make sure that i mute myself um, if you like to listen to typing sounds in nature feel free to leave your volume up otherwise lower the volume down and we will meet back here in 25 minutes dusk pink purple and stone beige see i knew i had to ask colors and not just one that is a beautiful combo that sounds beautiful all right friends you all ready let's go happy productivity
Alright friend, that's another 25 minutes on the clock. Let yourself come to a pausing or a stopping point and if you feel like it, check in. How did you do? Did you get much done? Do you feel like there was even if it was 1% of progress? Let me know. I continue to work on a little bit of the personalities and descriptions of the main characters of my novel and I feel pretty good about it. I feel like when I start um, adding the chapters that I think is missing it will really help me um, make the story a little bit fuller. So pretty stoked. I'm happy with my progress. How do you feel? How was it for you? Oh. If you're able to and you want to, just take a moment to maybe stand up and move your body. Whew. All right. Your pace was the same as when studying on your own, but the process was more relaxed and enjoyable. That is the entire point because you still are doing the thing, right? There's nothing that's not going to make the thing have to happen. But I think it's the how that can can really shift it. So I'm really glad that it, it felt supportive for you, Elizabeth. Cat, great. Hello, Cat. I don't know that I had said hi to you yet today. So hello, hello. Even though we're reaching the end of the stream. But yeah, how was it for you? Did you get much done? Were you working on anything in particular today that you feel like you got? Like I said, even if it's just 1% of progress and... Sometimes the progress may be just finding the tools that you need for the project and gathering them or actually writing down the steps that it'll take for you to do the project, you know? So it's not always the thing itself. Sometimes it's the prep around it. You got your eye exercises completed. That's wonderful. Yay for doing the exercises that we should do for our well-being. That brings me joy. All right, y'all, it's kind of chilly here. I'm going to have to close the window um, and, like, layer up more. Um, I have I have uh, nice wet pants on and, like, my little cool socks, you know. But I feel like I need thicker socks, more pants. I don't want to tell you the temperature because you'll probably laugh at me because it's not actually cold. But this is just who I am. I do what I can with what I'm given. <laughs> Anyways. Do you want to finish with a little bit of yoga or do you feel like just wrapping it up? Let me know. And when I say a little bit of yoga, I mean seated right where we are. Just simple stuff. Yeah. Cold to me. Yes, that's right. Cold to me. Yes, it's cold to me. And no one can take that away from me other than myself by putting another layer of clothing on. So I'm going to do that in a moment. All right. So if you all feel like doing a little bit of yoga... Um, I encourage you to find a chair that is sturdy or a seat that is sturdy. The chair that I'm on sways side to side and it does not have brakes. So what I will do is make sure that my feet are firmly planted on the ground. Yeah. But if you are using a chair that locks, I invite you to lock it so that you can be a little bit steadier as we start this short little practice just to close up the session. Yeah. So just bring yourself to a comfortable seat. You could seat, uh, you could sit leaning against the backrest or you could slide yourself a little bit forward. Once again, planting the feet firmly on the ground, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through the nose or the mouth. Inhale, noticing the sitting bones grounded, the spine long all the way to the crown of the head. Exhale, bring your right ear to the right shoulder. Stay here or take your left hand across to your right ear, adding a little bit more weight, a little bit more sensation. You could also stretch your left arm out if you wanted to, to the side. Feel free to move your chin up and down. Breathe in. 
breathe out one more inhale and exhale lower both arms back down bring your neck back to neutral ground through your sitting bones deep breath in exhale bring the opposite ear toward the shoulder notice the space that's created there and the sensation if it's sufficient i invite you to stay here if you want to increase it a bit maybe take your hand over the head and across to the ear perhaps extend your right arm out maybe move your chin up and down until you find what you're seeking there's no right or wrong just breathe one more breath wherever you find yourself inhale and exhale Release your hands back down to your lap. Bring your neck back to neutral. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhalation, lower your chin to your chest. And maybe you stay here. Or let yourself move your chin from side to side as if you were tracing your collarbones from shoulder to shoulder. Notice the sensation that arises in the back of your neck. One more breath. And then slowly let the chin rest on the chest. Inhale, bring your chin back to neutral. Maybe lift your gaze up, lifting the chin and opening through the throat. And on the exhalation, bring your neck back to neutral. Begin to extend your arms up. Inhale. And on the exhalation, bend your elbows to the side here, coming into cactus arms. And make fists with your hands for a moment, tightening the fists. Breathe in. Breathe out to open your hands wide. And you can keep the movement slow. Or you can increase the speed of the movement, keeping the range of motion. But make sure that you're breathing. Keep your shoulders relaxed. One more breath. Inhale. And on the exhalation, shake out your wrists, shake out your arms, relax your arms to your lap. Take a deep inhalation. And a, slow, a long, slow exhalation. Inhale, lift your shoulders up toward your ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. And do that, three, do that three times. Maybe your shoulders get involved, your elbows get involved, breathing in and out. And then pause, inhale. And on the exhalation, reverse the circles with your shoulders, with your arms. Again, you can let the movement be as small or as big as you want it to be. One more inhale. And exhale. Release your arms to your lap. Lengthen your spine. And on your inhalation, extend your arms straight up. And on the exhalation, surrender, surrender your hands to our opposite wrist or maybe to our opposite elbows, lifting your chest here as if you were framing your head with your arms. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest a little more, open the front of the body. And on your exhalation, start to take your left hand across toward the right and your right hand on the hip or maybe on the seat next to you or behind you. Breathe in to lengthen. And breathe out to maybe twist toward the right a little bit more. Notice the spiral of energy. One more breath. Back through center as you breathe in. Feel free to lift your arms up. Breathe out. Hands toward opposite elbows or to opposite wrists. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And on the exhalation, release the bind and take your right hand forward and your left arm either to your hip or to the backrest or to the armrest, wherever it lands. Breathe in to lengthen. And breathe out to twist. Let yourself breathe here. One more inhale, and exhale. Come back through center here. 
And I invite you now, if it serves you, to extend your arms in front of you and roll your wrists. And you can do the same with your legs. So you may not see my leg, but I'll lift it if you want to. And so you could roll your ankles. And maybe you choose to do one at a time. Maybe you choose to do both. There's a little bit of crackling noises. As long as there's no pain, it should be okay. One more breath. Inhale. And on the exhalation, release the circles with your wrists and with your ankle and with your ankles, and find a comfortable seat, however you want to sit. Let your spine grow a little bit taller. Your hands relax on your knees or your lap. Or if you wanted to, I invite you to bring both hands over your heart as you soften your gaze or close your eyes. And just for a moment, notice how you feel in your body. After this time together, creating, exploring. Space not only for self-care, but also for community care. For inspiration, motivation. So just notice how you feel. Take a deep inhalation through the nose, letting it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Hold at the top. Taking another sip. And whenever you're ready, open your mouth inside out. Let your hands relax back down to your lap. And at your own pace, let your eyes open up. Hmm. Thank you. How do you feel, friends? I hope that those few minutes of movement helped you find a little bit of uh, kind of like a closing to this session. As we've talked before, if you've joined some of these cozy productivity sessions, you may know that I talk about how important it is to take the break, same as it is to do the actual sprint. And I find that movement, meditation, breath work, usually before and after, um, can be really helpful, very beneficial to help me feel first prepared when I go into the session and then complete when I'm setting the demarcation and saying, okay, I've done what I said I would do. Now I get to go play, rest, nourish myself, whatever it is, um, without having those kind of like loose ends sometimes that my mind is like, oh, I didn't do enough, whatever. No, I just set the time to feel like it's complete and allow it to be complete. Because I think that's the issue sometimes with perfectionism, right? Like it's not really about like, when is it perfect? It's never going to be perfect. It's the moment that you decide it's done, right? So that's kind of what I do with the sessions. I feel complete. I hope that you do too. I don't know what this cat is doing. My queen, what are you doing? Is that what the hairball is? This is my first experience with a cat. Do y'all want to see my cat? Sweet baby girl, come here. Sweet princess, come here. What's happening? Hello. Aw. Is that what they call hairball friends? Anyways, this is Nyx, and she was clearly asleep. Did you have a good productivity session, Nyx? Isn't she adorable? She's so sweet. I love this kitty. Yep. And like I was saying, she does have a tendency to keep her claws out, but she's working on it. She's working on it. She's learning when she needs to claw things and when she doesn't. Right, baby girl? Yeah. Let's take a breath together to close. So sit up, relax your shoulders, lengthen your spine, soften your gaze or close your eyes if you want to. And just go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through the nose or the mouth. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed this cozy productivity session. Next session is on Friday, so two days from now, same time, same place. I'll be here. I hope that you will be here as well. Bring your projects, whatever that is. Sometime to, as always, just shoot the shit. 
enjoy one another and also get stuff done. So thank you all so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take good care. Bye, everybody.